G'day and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to fit the global warmer in the chassis and start sorting this front end out. You know what? It's easy for us YouTubers to edit out our stuff ups and you know what? I'd be a liar if I didn't say I stuffed up at least 27 or 28 times each video. Um, but in this particular case, I think this is a good stuff up to talk about. So, remember I was talking about Ronnie Williams and he's like the grandfather of hot rodding in Australia. So I caught up with Ronnie the other night and a few other old school hot rodders from their club. And I was chatting to Ronnie about the axle that he gave me and I told him what I was doing with it. And he goes, it's not gonna work with mechanical brakes. And I'm like, why not? And in his wisdom, I don't think he said anything. So let me sort it out. So for the next 24 hours, I'm just going in my head going, why won't they work? Why won't they work? He wouldn't have said that for no reason. And I have heard that before. After he said that, I went, you know what, I've heard that. So why don't they work? Now the reason they don't work is because these brake rods, actuator rods, which are connected to your levers, which come from your brake pedal, they move backwards and forwards, push a rod down through the kingpin, um, which activates the brakes. Let me show you. So, kingpin goes in here, and it sits high because you've got the, the stub axle and you've got a bearing. And then you have your perch here, which holds your wishbone, your spring, and your brake actuator. Your brake, brake actuator. So, that guy there goes through that hole there, okay? With a dropped axle, this side's gonna sit higher up. So with that lined up horizontal with that, look at the difference, it's not gonna work. When that lines up to that, it's not gonna work. So that's what Ronnie was referring to, it's not gonna work. But, in 1932, they also had mechanical brakes and they had a different perch to accommodate the height. So I've managed to lay my hands on some original 932 perches, which I should get soon, next week, and that will allow me to run my mechanical brakes. So problem sorted. So the downside to being like a bit of a tornado in the workshop getting things done is that I'm messy, as you can see. But anyhow, no apologies for that. We'll sort that out later. But I'm about to recondition my torque tube and if you have been watching this channel for a while you would recall that I blew the bearing out of this when it was in the mongrel um, and I replaced the whole diff assembly so I have the bearing I bought to replace the old one when I thought the bearing was gone and the new sleeve one thing you have to do which was my mistake make sure you grease the crap out of these. Don't rely on the diff oil to lubricate it because it won't. So grease it up. In the last one I put a, um, even put a grease nipple in that end. But yeah, lots of grease and you'll be fine. But now I've got to take off all these brake pipe brackets which we'll put on some time ago um, because we don't need them. out of there. She was welded in there pretty hard from look at those bearings that we took out but um we'll see what happens. There you go, there's one of them. <laughs> Make sure you put grease in them people. Yeah. 
crispy. What did I say before about grease? Lots of grease. This is like a super high temperature grease I'm using at the moment. tube on the diff. I'll stick my oil in it now because it's 600 weight and it's like honey so trying to get it through the filler when well, you can do it but hey while I've got this oil it's going to be a lot easier. And you're probably wondering or saying to yourself I thought this was going to be about the front end and the engine. Well it kind of is because I can't put the engine in without the torque tube because the torque tube it's solid, so torque tube first, engine and gearbox next. And when I say it's like honey, well, it's actually like honey. It's thick. Run of stickers. I'm gonna do some BAM stickers. Imagine if I did t shirts. Yeah, no, that's not gonna happen. So we're ready to put this thing in. Well, that's it. I'm going to leave the front end to another episode because I need to get those perch bolts. Um, engine's in. Happy days. You can uh, start sorting all the little bits and pieces out with that. We'll get that front end in, we'll get it rolling. Steering box, steering, and then we start on the body. Sorry about the lighting. It's terrible, I know. But anyway, that's it from me. Stay tuned. Be good to your mates. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. And I will see you on the next one. Cheers. Have a good one. What did I say before about grease? Lots of grease. Ah.